On November 11th, hundreds of pilgrims and local faithful joined the friars and the Benedictine nuns at Tabga to commemorate the miracle of the multiplication of the loaves and fishes, performed by Jesus and described by the four evangelists. And today we celebrate a very big feast, a fortification of bread that remind us that we are the living stone here and the fortification of the bread is sharing with our love to the people. The Mass, presided over by the Apostolic Administrator and celebrated by the numerous priests and religious, was held in the current modern church, erected on the remains of the Syriac Chapel, which dates back to the second half of the 4th century. This is where the miracle took place, according to the first Christians. For me, the main message of the Gospel is that Jesus see the crowd and he feel mercy and said, yeah, come on, feed them, give them food. And this um, attitude of Jesus, this is what we try to live here, especially here in Bet Noah, this uh, place that we say to handicapped young people, come here, rest a little bit. During the homily, the Latin vicar for Jerusalem and Palestine, Bishop Jacinto Mercuzzo, explained the Messianic, the Ecclesial, and the Eucharistic meanings of this miracle. This means that our Lord Jesus is life. He is the bread of life. And he gave bread to men so they could eat, because he cared for them, because he is their shepherd. He also gave himself in the Eucharist so that men may have eternal life. The celebration coincided with the beginning of the week in preparation for the World Day of the Poor, instituted by Pope Francis. With the World Day of the Poor established by Pope Francis, which begins right here with the Feast of the Multiplication of the Loaves, we want to admonish our fellow creatures that we must bring the Eucharist to mankind, and we must also give our love, especially to the poor, to those who are in the desert, and to those who need not only the word of God, but also the actual bread. Del pane concreto.